Okay, so the step how to collect. Of uh, first, yeah, okay, you go to the area where is uh, permissible. Lah. You don't go to any places. For example, you go to your neighbor farm without permission. Of course, you go to the reserve area. You don't do that, right? You do go to the permissible uh, uh, area, okay? Um, and then you you bring with your machinery and your stuff, lah, okay? Like yeah, like your chainsaw, okay, to cut the 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 tree or part of the tree, okay. Uh, there are a lot of reasoning. Uh, for example, when you want you when you locate the hive, the hive probably it's on a branch, okay, on a branch. So when it's on the branch, so when you, you don't have to cut the whole tree. Yeah. You just cut one part of the tree. Okay. Okay. And then, when you, for example, in other cases, you uh, identify the hive on the main trunk, meaning that you have to cut the whole tree. But you have to consider first whether the tree is endangered or not. Right. If the tree is endangered, you really, really want to take it out, maybe there are the method. For example, using the bed box. Okay, the bed box, same method, your bed box. You drill a hole, make a bridge. But that, that takes time. But and also only for experienced people, like they go up. And they, okay? So what I did, every hive that I get, Okay, especially the whole hive I get from the wild, I re replant trees, replant. So far, one hive I replant 10 trees. Okay, and then, marking is important. When you want to take, you have to mark which side is up and down. Remember that the brood cell, okay, the brood cell and then the pupa, the head, is so basically uh, facing the sky yeah. okay, so you need to know which side is up and down the wrong orientation so the colony may struggle uh, struggle to recover and most uh, we don't you don't want the colony to run away okay okay so if the too big you you can trim down at the location you mean trim down when especially when they get from a big tree they will slice down okay not and they know until they reach the core and then when it's small enough they can bring it out okay and especially when let's say you do it at the uh, morning or in the uh, afternoon the you cut the tree uh, the best way or the best thing is to wait until evening or just okay uh, uh, I mean the time is just enough for the worker to come back okay they okay when they fall, fell down uh, at least they can they, they can still uh, locate relocate the hive using the pheromone of the, the queen and also now when you want to remove okay you seal the entrance using uh, uh, using wood or clay okay you see the entrance you don't want them to go out when you try it on on the transportation okay so then you can uh, relocate the hive gently and safely okay and then you have must have some data recorded for each colony and some tips sometimes you you acquire the hive from other people okay see these are some tips so you buy from trusted sources Okay, try to avoid uh, stolen hive. Uh, do not buy hive at night because you don't know the strength, the, the level, health. You want, okay, the hive that is very active. Okay, that's why you have to survey. In the morning, you go and then you check. Okay, if you contact someone who can supply, okay. And then you you transfer at the night. At the night is okay. You you have to confirm in the morning lah. Okay, transfer at the night. 
and then you can ask, uh, ask for extended warranty. It's okay. 15 to 30 days. If the colony stays wrong, okay. But if not stays wrong, you ask for replacement. Okay. Uh, this is like a, like like a request lah. Okay. Okay. Like you you tell them. Okay. What happened if they are gone? But don't if like you are selling, don't give warranty too long. Because sometimes the the hive collapse not because of what you have supplied, because of they neglect the hive. Okay, so that's also a, a point for you. Okay, be careful about that. And uh, this is my point. So that let this be uh, a good time for us and also for you, because you are still uh, want want to know about that, and then maybe you're going to be serious. So if you happen to get the log from the wild replant trees okay put that as a uh, uh, and a uh, uh, practice a uh, good practice okay so this uh what i have experienced uh with i went there i went to uh, uh get a hive from the from the wild okay so first step is uh, in general uh, to locate so in this case the hive, okay, happen to be at uh, the branch, the branch here, okay. So, uh, so uh, the uh, lumberjack go up, okay, and then cut the part of the tree, okay. You see, they cut part of the tree, and then the, it fall down. Okay, and then we trim, trim the uh, the hive at the location, and then bring into the transport. Okay, bring into the transport to uh, to another to another location lah, to another location where we trim more, and then we put a seal. Okay, this is one of of the early steps when you acquire from the wild. Uh, there are there are basically two main culturing methods. Culturing method, uh, which is the first one is using log hive with topping box, like what I have practicing here. Second one is using box hive with topping box. Okay, means that you don't use the topping, uh, the log hive, but you use a box hive. And there are other methods like uh, Mustafa hive and original Australian Trigona hive oath. So there, there are other method how they keep the singles bee in 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 the in the farm, okay. So the the first one is using log hive, okay. Mean the the original hive, and and the topping box on the top. So it look look like like this some, okay more or less, okay. That's your main hive, okay main hive, okay. And then there's the entrance, uh, and the bottom part, okay. You will cover and then the top part we also cover and then put the pipe pipe which connect directly to the main hive okay and then there's a topping box which connect to the pipe uh, so you have a stand okay stand is stand or elevate elevating your hive from the ground is very important because first of the rain if you put directly on the ground so it will spoil much faster. Okay, rain will get it. And also, if you put directly on the ground, the might go direct. Okay, that's why you have a, must have something to put. In the middle, there is a uh, oil trap. If you notice, there is a a part where you can pour oil, and the oil will stay there. So to avoid uh, like ants. Or termite to go up uh, to the main hive, okay. And then you have the that's the topping, and then your cover and the roof, okay. The, 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 so this is the log hive in the middle, okay. Uh, this is uh, using uh, box hive with topping box, okay. The only difference is the box, okay. The box, the box hive, okay. The box hive. Uh, this is just for reference. You see, basically a box hive. Okay, box hive. 
And then set uh, uh, apart from the box hive, everything is the same with the lock hive. Okay. Uh, box hive uh, usually you use it after you transfer from lock hive. Okay, lock hive is become decay or rotten, so you need to transfer to new no box hive. Or maybe uh, you use the box hive in the beginning. The beginning means that okay, uh, from uh, from other method, like for example, you got yeah, this one. It looks like a box hive. If you are lucky, they go go into the bait box. So you just make hole here and then put the topping. So this become a box hive. Okay, the best. So the indication uh, of success after two months. If two months they stay, okay, that's a success.